Hello. Howdy. Oh, howdy ho, friends. Oh, what's, oh, that's not okay. That's not okay. How are you? Happy Thursday. <coughs> Welcome to Check It Out Tuesday, Thursday edition. Give me a hidey ho and let me know who is out there tonight while I get my proverbial act together here. <laughs> tonight will be fun. It's always fun, right? As if it's not going to be fun. I just don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. I got a few ideas though, so I'm trying to get my toys ready. Oh Lord. I'm putting together some stamp things. Well, hello, Jennifer. Welcome to the party, princess, and thank you for being on time. How are you? What you been doing today? I have been cutting, 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 prepping, prepping, cutting. I have my team social on Saturday, and as of yesterday, I had nothing planned, and I have to prep for 24 crafty, fabulous trailblazers. Trailblazers. Uh, we're getting together this month. We don't, we get together every three months. Um, look what I've done. I've got double sided sticky tape now on this. Um, anyway, ah, oh, Donna, hello. Give Donna a shout out. Happy heckling, Donna. <laughs> um, yes, so I have been planning. Okay, seriously, I'm trying to put this die. I just ripped it off the sheet and the double sided tape came with it. Um, yes, I've been prepping for that. I've been prepping for my Lighting the Way class, which is on, there we go, on May 5th. And I just did a post like half an hour, an hour ago, saying that the dyes, hello, Brenda, how are you? Um, saying that the dyes are in low inventory. Ah, I know, Gerald is quite distressed about the whole thing. Um, the bundle is carrying over. What is going on here, Tamara? Um, but the dies are currently on low inventory. So I have two spots left, only two, two, two. Um, if you want in on that class, it's $85 porch pickup, $95 long distance. Right now you have the choice of photopolymer or clear. The clear are, um, it's actually, it's, it's a bit of a lie. They're not clear, they are red rubber, but they are cling. I don't know that they call them clear, cling. The red rubber ones, um, those are retiring. <coughs> excuse me, but the, um, the photopolymer are carrying over, but the dyes are low inventory. So hello, Heather. I haven't talked to you in for a while. Hope you're well. Hello, Penny and Sheila. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Donna and Jennifer, you're just going to have to have a little sidebars because I'm going to be concentrating tonight. Here's the deal. Hello, Marcella. Are you back home now? You must have had a whole swack of stuff to pick up from the post office. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. I don't know. Um, all right, let's get cracking. Let's just, let's just, just start some things. Okay. First of all, <laughs> look how trendy I am. Let's just look like I have a feature nail over here. I'm telling you guys, I cannot stand chipped nails. Like this one's been chipped for two days, driving me insane, but I haven't had time to fix it. And then last night in the night, this one fell off. <laughs> This, this is a way I did. I did a really crap job on my nails this week and I didn't cap them. So I've had to fix them a few times. And then this one in the night, it just, it's like, no, I'm coming off and off it flew. So, um, which is very not good for the healthy. So we're just going to pretend this is my natural feature nail. Okay. Or I'll craft like this. Yeah. It drives me crazy. <laughs> it was like Christmas. I bet Marcella. Cool. Anyway, this is, um, this is a card that we're actually going to be making at my social. Oh, <gasps> really? What do you mean you might have a nice night? It might have to be nice. Oh, you might not. I was going to say, what? Aren't you always? <laughs> You're always nice, Jennifer. <clears throat> this is one of the cards we're making at our social. And I'm showing it because, A, these are the dies that are on low inventory. Hello, Cheryl. Low inventory. Uh, so if you want in on this class, please, 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 please don't wait. Once it's in low inventory, people panic, like me. Um, and I only have two spots left. So anyway, we're making this at my social. Hi, Nikki. Um, and I wanted to show off, this is one of the new in colors. It is the, I want to call it bubble gum. No, bubble bath, bubble bath. And, um, so I'll do a little bit of, you know, me, I yammer this, that, and the other, and a few of the other things, <laughs> just to show some of the colors that work well with some of the other colors. So 
the bubble bath can work as a pink, but it could also work as a bit of a purple. Um, like it's just, it's one of these colors that morphs depending on what you put it with. The other one that I was playing with that I love, um, is the new ugh, words, names, Moody Mauve with our Blackberry Bliss. Look at these two colors together. <laughs> these two colors together. They're so pretty. It also looks really good with, um, early espresso. So they just, they pull, yeah, they pull differently depending on what they're paired with. And I kind of love that. I kind of love that. So before I get too far into the night, while, while you guys are just hanging out, um, help me decide what we're going to do tonight. This was a card I made earlier. This is, a, this is, this. so this is one card we're making at our team social just to play with some of the new colors. And this is another one we're going to make at our team social. Um, again, using the, the new colors and some, the new stamp sets and some new dyes. So do you want me tonight to show you how to make this card or I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but, um, I wanted to, I wanted, yeah. Okay. Jennifer says use, <laughs> I have to ask the question first, Jennifer. Um, the third card that I want to make for the social, hi Melanie, is, um, uh, the beautiful balloons. Because I want to make a shaker card, which they kind of terrify me a little bit, a little bit. But there's a really cool card in the catalog that, of course, isn't a standard size. But I thought, well, I might play with that because it was what I wanted to do. I've got all these sequins. And Bubble Bath reminds me of a pink eye shadow I had back in the 82 or 82. <laughs> but, oh, I was going to say, hi, Lillian. I haven't seen you in a while either. Balloons, yeah. You know what? I'm kind of glad you're picking balloons because... I want to multitask, like, well, no, I want to work smarter, not harder. So the card that I create tonight will save me from having to create a card tonight after the show is over. So it's double duty. I'll make it here with you tonight and then I'll make it with my team on Saturday if it's not too hard and if I have enough of the supplies. Excellent, Cheryl. Then that's fantastic. You're going to get a sample. Um, Cheryl's on my team. She is a trailblazer. Um, and you're going to get the pieces that you'll be able to recreate this at home. So if you have that this uh this bundle fantastic so okay well that answers that question we're gonna work with the balloons then because i kind of i want to but i'm not gonna lie you guys like it <laughs> it's really kind of nerve-wracking um because of the the way i craft like i'm well it's it's like me i guess every time you watch me <laughs> hello trudy um i'm just so scattered and so i might stamp something and you guys might think it's fine but it might not be fine with me so I might want to do it five more times, but then I think, oh, there's people watching. They don't want to watch me do this five more times. And so I get all in my head. So it, it is a little nerve wracking to do something completely new live, but I guess we're going to do that. Um, <laughs> which one are you trying to convince yourself or are you saying that you'd love it with the balloons or a shaker card? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, it's just, I love it. I don't know the, the live, I don't know. I don't know. I guess, I guess we're doing the balloons, right? We're doing the balloons. <gasps> Laurel and Laura, are you two together again? You guys, you're trouble. Hello, Lori and Laurel. Laurel, I was watching um, a bunch of your reels on the crafting and I'm like, oh Lord, girl, there's just enough not enough time in the day. Hey, <laughs> or not, what did I say? Enough, enough time in the day, not enough hours in the day to do all the crafts that you want to do. Um, all right. Well, I guess we're going to make a balloon card. Oh, well, thank you, Jennifer. I, <laughs> I don't, am I being hard on myself? I don't think so. It's just, it is nerve wracking, um, to do things live when you've got a whole bunch of people watching it, but that's okay. Uh, well, oh, no, I can't lose the page. I wish I could show you the card in the catalog. For those of you who have your catalog, it's on page 14 is the one I'm going to more or less case. So I'm going to try to keep this open. I can't show you the inside of the catalog. Heaven forbid. I don't want to go to Stampin' Up! Jail. So I'm going to mangle this. There we go. You stay there. Okay. Meanwhile, two spots left for the Lighting the Way class. May 5th, $85, $95 long distance. Okay. You know what I should have done? Yes, you do, Melanie. What the heck? Um, let's open our Misty Moonlight. Oh, how I've missed my Misty Moonlight. It was one of my very favorite uh, colors back in the day. Use Lost Lagoon. Donna, don't be throwing me off my game already. No, because I wanted to use the blue shakers and I thought that would be really pretty. So I'll turn, well, let's see. Okay, you know what? Before I commit to this, okay, Donna, just for you, let's, let's look at the papers we've got. So 
this is part of a suite called Bright and Beautiful. And in the suite, there is the design. Like, so you can order just with one order code. It's like $101 for the entire um, suite. You get the stamp set. Um, there's this, or the bundle. So the stamp set and the dies, the paper, and also this paper. And paper, 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 and the bundle. That's it. So three paper. No, one, two. Two papers in a bundle. Yep. Okay. So you don't save anything by buying this suite. It's just one ordering code instead of three. So let's take a look at this paper. Yes, you are, Laurel. You guys are good. Donna and um, Jennifer, they just, I don't know. They're not mean to me, but they do heckle a good game. <laughs> mm -hmm. You be nice to my Laurel and Lori. Okay, so we need to pick some papers. Now, the paper that they used in the catalog would... See, I could. Ooh. Maybe we should use lemon lime. <gasps> lemon lime and blue. Okay, I need some help here. So the papers... Oh, but I do like... See, the blue kind of goes with everything, though, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Okay, you guys, focus. Me, over here. Help me. I could use... What paper should I use um, for the card? They're, the one they used in the catalog... Where is it? It's obnoxious, and I don't really love it, but let's see. This one, that's a bunch of balloons. Where is it? That one. Well, it's not balloons, but... So this is the one they used in the, in the, um, in the catalog. So this is the color of my sequins. What color? This looks really pretty together though, right? Hmm. I like this sheet. Pinks and the blues work. Anybody? Anybody focusing on my questions? <laughs> Lost Lagoon will pull depending on the paper you choose. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Nikki, for focusing. See, I could do kind of this and this. Uh, I could use... What other colors are in here? We've got... The Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon. Good Lord. Um, so this is Fresh Freesia. I don't know what that purple is. Anyway, I'm not sure. Okay, love the pinks. The Chevron says Myrna. Um, the paper is like, yeah, they are bouquet dots, you bet. Indeed. I like this one, right? And the Myrna likes the chevron. That would work too. They're going to be balloons. So essentially I'm going to punch balloons out of it. So let me show you the dies. You'll get an idea. The pink and the blue, I kind of do too. What do you think of that? It could be a baby. Well, no, not with balloons. Anyway, so here are the dies. And this, let's see what they did here. Look, at that's a three-way balloon. Oh, I don't want that one. So they did a big one and a medium one. And we're going to make them into shakers. The chevron says Trudy. Okay. I'll do a road trip. You set it up, Trudy. I would do a road trip. Um, okay. So I kind of, you know what? I like this one. This one makes me happy. I think this color combination is nice. Now, I don't know, actually, if I do this for the team social, I need to make, I need to prep for 24 cards. So you know what? <laughs> Um, there's going to be a plethora of options available to the people. It'll be, um, everybody's going to pick the pattern that they want the most. Now, another thing that I could use is a piece of this. So this is like a clear acetate. Hi, Ida. Welcome to the show. So this is an acetate. Let's pick one of these. Are they all the same? I don't think so. Okay. One is squiggles, kind of like the squiggles. Or, because we're doing it as a shaker card, should we make this more like that? That one won't work because it's, it just won't. Oh, how am I going to get 24 of these? Oh, my Lord. I, okay. I might have to tweak this for my social. Let me see. So, if this is a 12 by 12, if I did a 2 by 2, let's see. How big is this? Oh, so now I need it to be... I was going to say, I could do a two by two. Why did I only have one of these? Did I only buy one? How could I only buy one? That is unprecedented, but okay. Well, 
I can use this for tonight's show, and then I can use something else for the social, I guess. Unless Tracy, you're, no, Tracy, you didn't get this. Tracy's not even in the house, are you? Tracy, are you in the house? Um, or Donna, did you buy this? Are you coming to the social? Yeah, I don't want to start cutting. That's fine. We'll, we'll do something. Okay. So we've got a few of the pieces here. Let's focus. Tamantha. Tamantha. Tamara. Whatever my name is. Okay. Let's open up the cardstock first. Do the little one in the printed acetate. Ooh. That's a good idea, Donna. So then I could get 24. Okay, big brains on you. So you're not just a heckler. You do come in handy. Yeah, that acetate is very pretty. I know. Okay, so let's start. This is my Misty Moonlight. I'm going to put back. I spent a bunch of time today putting things kind of in the order. Ugh, I've got like the in colors. I've got the brights. And they change everything around. Like all of a sudden, um, Blueberry Bushel is in the Regals. I'm like what? That doesn't even make sense. And they move Pumpkin Pie is a bright again. I think it used to be a bright back in the day. They're just messing with my head. Okay. Now, one thing I know for sure is that the card that is in the catalog is not a standard sized card. So, this will hurt my head as well. Oh, Pat! Pat! I know, but you're not coming to the social. No, it's fine. I am learning to pivot. You should be very, very proud of me. Back in the day, it would be, oh, no, 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 no. Everybody has to have the exact same paper. Like, it's a deal breaker. You can't be having different papers. It's not okay. Okay. I've grown a lot as a crafter. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, ideally, I should make this a three-inch strip just to make the most of my paper. Three-inch strip. Let's see. This might be a huge mistake, but we're going to cut it, and then we'll see where we're at. Three. Ooh, things are going to collapse. Okay. And I think it's going to have to go this way so we can go like this. We need the little balloon up higher or do we need the big balloon up higher? I'm thinking the big one's up high. That's what I'm thinking. Something like that. Now, so this is going to have to be, hmm. No, 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 no. No, it's fine, Pat. I very much appreciate the offer. I'm going to make this work somehow, some way. Okay, so let's look at this and look at what I've got. I can't just have this plain. I could, I could, I could. Well, first of all, I'm going to trim this to five and a half. That's too long and it's driving me a little bit nuts. Maybe I should have cut that by three by three and done one. You know what? That would have made a whole heck of a lot more sense. Dag nabbit, Tamara. I'm going to cut this at three and see. So you have to try to maximize your paper, right? So let's just say this is three. Maybe I'm just going to do one blue. No, that's going to look stupid. Okay. Because we're making a shaker is what we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. No, back to plan A. All right, five and a half. Like that. And we're going to go with our balloon here and our balloon here. And then I think maybe we'll, what does this say? It has a happy birthday put. No, I don't want that. That's all that I'm doing that's similar to the card. <laughs> Four by three. Yeah, yeah, that kind of out too late, too little, too late. Um, yeah, there are lots of paper. Like, people could just use whatever paper they want at the social. It's fine. It's good. What I want to do, though, is cut a hole in my paper. So let's bring in our baby boss. Or maybe, there it is. Yeah. Switch the balloons. <laughs> Switch the balloon, you want the smaller one up high, Donna? Is that what you're telling me? Or are you saying put the smaller balloon on that smaller chunk? See, what do you mean what's social, Jennifer? My team social. We don't call it a team meeting because that sounds all formal. And Is that what you mean, Donna? Big one on top, says Ida. I think I do too. What say you people vote now? Little one on top or big one on top? I don't know. Small up top says Donna. What say the rest of you? 
Maybe. I don't know. I can be convinced. Okay, while we're waiting for some votes to pour in, I want to decorate the sides. And I'm thinking if this is going to be a little party, maybe I'll do maybe I'll do these um, squiggly things. Small on top, little on top. Hi, Barbara. Big on top, little on top. Little on, oh, I'm getting more little on tops. Little on top. Okay, so let's do this. So our uh, misty moonlight. Are we going with misty moonlight? Maybe I should go with boho blue. Try this out. Let's look at this. Maybe this is happier. Okay, that's the boho, or that's the misty moonlight. That's the boho. Is that too baby? Two votes, says Laurel. Little on top for you, Laurel. Should I go with the boho blue? Uh, no, that's too babyish. No, I don't like that one. No, 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 no. Stick with it, Tamara. Okay. I'm going to bring in my heat and boss, the squiggles. Oh, I could Ida. Now, Ida, fabulous idea, darling. But I'm going to say no because this, oh, ouch, that was my knee. Um, I'm trying to design this for my social and they can't be that complicated because mostly I don't want to take that many materials and we only have like three hours for uh, three hours. So love the idea. I'm not going to do it, but thank you. Oh, look how cute this is. Look at it. <laughs> I love that. He's so fun. I may need more though. I'm not so organized. Let's see if that's even going to show up. No. This is the problem with trying to do random. I don't do random well. Over here. Over here. Something like that. Okay. Oh, I, I, I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> You're an easy. <laughs> okay. It's a little tight. Okay. <laughs> if that happens, what you can do is you can take a crayon or a candle and just run it in here. A little bit of wax. Grease that bad boy up. <laughs> or get your workout like I just did. Okay. I'm going to clean this off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lost Lagoon. Donna, stop giving me options. Lost Lagoon. I do like Lost Lagoon. It's a pretty one. Okay. Well, I've already stamped on it now. Oh, that is really pretty. It's very pretty. Read it. Too late, Donna. Maybe next time. All right. So I think we got... I know. Totally new. Um, I think we got more votes for the little on top. This is one of the three bundles that interests me from the new catalog. Excellent. Okay. All right. Donna wins. I'll let you have this one, Donna. All right, we are going to cut holes in yawn paper with my little, you know, I think Stampin' Up! lied to me. I thought they said that even though I've bought one of these, that like demonstrators can buy them now because there was extra stock, that even though I had bought one, I'd be able to buy another one. And I tried to, and I couldn't. Maybe it was a dream. I don't know. So funny story today. <laughs> I seriously, like a lot of times in the last two, three weeks, I'm like, I think I'm losing my mind. Think I'm losing my mind, you guys. Like you could convince me that, you know, I was in Calgary yesterday and I'd probably go, was I? Yeah, okay. If you say so, if you saw me. Yeah. All right. You could convince me just about anything. Anyway, doorbell rings. Coda goes nuts. It's FedEx. Craig's like, oh, it's our new chairs, our new bar stools. And uh, so then he calls down and he says, nope, it's not our bar stools. Okay. What is it? He's like, I don't know. What did you order? And so then I sat there for literally like a minute and I couldn't think of anything I had ordered. I'm like FedEx. I didn't order anything FedEx. Uh, like, yeah, I shop Amazon all the time, but that comes UPS. Okay. Stay tuned for the rest of my story. I have to focus for a minute. Now, what I'm going to do here, I think, now is this going to be too... Gaga, if I put those behind there, no, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And uh, for the social, we might just, we might just use plain paper. So for this, I'm going to use a piece of acetate that's going to be 
two and three quarters should fit. Yeah, two and three quarters wide. By, I'll just do a little bit less than five and a half. So by five and a quarter is fine because it's not that high. Yeah, five and a quarter. Anyway, so I'm racking my brains, racking my brains, trying to think of what the heck did I order? So I, said, I don't know. I said, like, go open it. Because I said, well, did I order something for your birthday? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, go open it. Because I didn't order, I didn't order anything. No, no. So he opens it and he says, it's a shelving unit. And I'm like, a shelving unit? <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, maybe. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. So I'm like, a shelving unit. He's like, yeah, it's a shelving unit. I'm like, what kind of a shelving unit? So he sends me a picture. I'm like, I ordered that. I said, no. I said, is it? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, look, you guys. It's silver on one side, gold on the other. So I said, are you sure? Like, is it my name? Like, maybe it's misdelivered. He says, yeah. It says Tamara Bertram. I'm like, okay. I said, maybe Rebecca ordered it because Rebecca's been looking at storage for her room. He's like, why would she order a bookshelf? I don't know. I didn't order a bookshelf. It had to be somebody. What? Nobody. I said, unless it was a present. <laughs> Somebody just randomly sent me. What am I doing? Maybe I should focus on this first. No, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I'm putting glue to put my acetate on. Um, anyway, so Rebecca says, no, it wasn't her. I'm like, well, I, I don't know. I did not order a bookcase. <laughs> but he had me really, really stumped. He's like, it's well from like, woohoo, wah. I, I don't know what he said, woohoo, something or other. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Turns out... It was supposed to be our chairs, our bar stools. They sent the wrong item. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Okay, really, Tamara? I put glue way too far over. <laughs> anyway, so they're not our bar stools. They sent the wrong item. So there's a happy accident. So they, so I'm returning it. Of course, that'll be on their dime. And they're going to have to come get it because this thing weighs a ton. I can't drop it off anywhere. It weighs too much. Anyway, so I'm like, yeah, no, cancel it and give me a refund. And then I went back in and I rebought them. But this time I only bought two <laughs> instead of the four. Because if you follow me on my personal page, I accidentally ordered four. But I only wanted two. It was a two pack. So I ordered four. I'm like, well, this is, this is a win-win. The only problem is that um, now I have to wait another two or three weeks. Okay, I'm not listening to what? Yes, I got arrested. <laughs> I know. I'm, I heard that. I said, uh, oh, I said, use silver so it matches the sequence. Oh, yeah, see, I get, oh, well. But there's gold in here, too. Look, there's gold in there, too. It's okay. It's all good. All right, so here's our little card like this. Now, normally, what I would do is I would get out, I guess I could, I could get out these. I thought, well, maybe I don't have enough to make 24 of them. Like, I don't know. I, there's nothing worse than running out of product when you're having a class. So I thought what I would do was the cheat, the, uh, the hack that we do to make a shaker card. And the hack would be when we use our envelope. What's I'm already rolling over something that I'm not supposed to. I wonder if I can make this work. So you get our clear envelopes, which you should buy now before the price goes up. I'm pretty sure the price goes up. And I'm thinking that this will work. Hmm, maybe it won't work. It should work. How am I gonna make this work? Okay, this is, this is me thinking on the fly. So I want to have the sequins in there, but I want this not to be so big. But then it's going to show. Okay, I'm just going to cut this. All right, this is what, let's see if this works. Probably this could be interesting. I'm going to cut this to two and three quarters. This is just one of our envelopes. I'm going to see if I can cut it to two and three quarters. And I'm going to see if I can seal it. I don't know. I've never tried this before. Why not try it when there are people watching? Okay, so cutting our envelope. Stay here. And now, what's going on here? Now, is this going to show, though? This is the only problem. I want it to not be showing. All right, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to reseal this envelope now using my tear and tape. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. Let's just swing it. Uh, 
Um, I saw the question there. How did my BOGO go? It went really well. Thank you so much. I am, you guys, so close. I'm trying to measure how long this is going to be. I am very close to earning the incentive trip. I should have that earned May 2nd is my plan, is to earn that trip on May 2nd. I'm very, very close. So, yes, the, the sale went very well. Thank you so much to everyone who purchased from me. Um, I'm working on getting those out the door, but... First, I have to get my social sorted out. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. This might be a bit of a pain in the saka, and maybe not something that we're going to do at the social. We'll see. Maybe I'll go back to using the um, these things, like a normal crafter. Mm. Yeah, it's. I'm very excited. Um, if I can earn it on the 2nd of May, that'll be the earliest I've earned it. And it's to Mexico. Very excited. Oh. Nope. No. Stop that. Get open. Hang on. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just making a smaller envelope, which seems like a lot of faffing around. Faff. That was a word I learned when I lived in Europe. Faffing. And you know, you can see it. I don't like this idea. No, what I was going to do. So here's, here's the thing, what you can do, which I'm not going to, because you can see this. That's not okay. It's not okay. Um, is you then pour the sequins in here, right? You've got the sequins in here and then you tape, tape it like this and you've got a shaker and it's not really any bulkier than normal, but that's not going to work for me. So hopefully this is enough to make 24. Tracy, are you in the house? If you have any extras of these, we're going to need them for the social, I think, just in case. I don't know. I've never made like 24 shaker cards. Good Lord. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to get our foamies. No normal and crafters, I know. Okay, let me think now what I'm going to do. We're going to pop this up. Should I put a different color behind it? Like, should I do um, a different paper? Or is that just... Oh, maybe I could just do a solid. What do you think? Should I... It, yeah, because the blue... Should I put a, something behind it? It's not going to be too busy. It's going to be kind of busy. Unless I did a solid. Leave it. Thanks, Tracy. Just in case. Just in case. Just do the bottom blue as a shaker. I could. Um, it looks good, though, in the sample. They both are shakers. I do kind of like a solid. Solid? A solid color, but this solid or a different solid? Yeah, okay, thank you, Donna. Um, let me see what else I've got. Did I not buy? We might not have had the option of buying. Okay. All right, focus, Tamara. I thought I had more. Um, I don't know how much paper. Like, I'm very limited in my supplies from the pre-order. Boho behind the sequins in both the... Oh, using your head for more than a hat rack the lighter blue okay let's try that I just I thought like a bit of a ombre or one of our designer papers but I don't have very many what's this one? oh oh this is the in color stuff okay wait how about this is the boho an in color I think so yes it is all right how about these I could oh yes okay Yes. The thing is, though, for the social. Um, oh, how about that? Is that like if that was bubble bath solid, says Ida. I do kind of like that. And I like the bubble bath. Ida, you and me, girl. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to. This one, yeah, I like it. Okay, Ida wins. Thanks, Tracy. Ida has it. Okay, so this is going to be... Uh, two and three quarters. By five and a quarter. I tried that. And then the blue shape. Yeah, that's going to be pretty, right? Yes. Too busy with the ink color. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so this, we're not going to tape it to this. We need to make the shaker. But this needs to go in the middle. So I'm going to find my tape. 
papers. Put that in the middle. Need some water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we need to make our shaker aspect. So I'm going to make the two shakers. So you need to take this stuff, and the key to a good shaker is you need to have complete coverage around the hole, or the square, or the shape, or whatever it is that you're putting a shaker in. You have to have um, foam strips completely surrounding. This might be too hard for the social. Like, not too hard. I don't know. Like, three projects, a whole bunch of people. Anyway, you can't have any holes because you don't want your bits to fall out. All right, so. Never made a shaker. Oh, well. Got to learn something new today then. All right, so I'm doing this to both the balloons. Okay, so you have to, have to make sure that they meet up. Okay. Well, that only took one strip. So you know what? If I have to do 24, how many strips do you get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I've got enough, Tracy. This will be good. Because everybody should use one strip for the two. Well, anyway. I got enough because I got two packs here. Okay. So, now, the tricky part is... Where's my card base? Here it is. How we're going to fill this. This is how it's going to go together like this. So I'm taking my sequins and I'm going to put a little puddle approximately where I want them to be. I could put them in here, but then I won't be able to like close it this way properly. Maybe I should have taped these down yet and I could have done that. Anyway, it's all good. We'll do it this way. This is where the card's going to be. So we want a little puddle right here and a little puddle right here. Little puddle. Like not so much that they're not going to shake. But enough that it's going to be cute. Okay, this one, I, I want more in the bigger one than the little one. And you want them all kind of together. And yes, they go everywhere. So let me just kind of do a Look, see, these sequins are nice because they don't jump all over the place. So look, what, so you see they're going to be in the right position-ish. This one could use a few more. I don't know. Like that. Okay. Now, put the lid back on. Hi, hi Luann. Hello, hello. Okay. Now we're going to peel off the, whatever this is called. Now, I want this to be right at the top and right at the bottom. Oh, I, I should have, oh, dang, damn it. Okay, before, is it too late? Here's what I didn't do, because I wasn't thinking. Hang on. Let go. Let go. Gently let go. I should be putting some more here and here, right? I had some left over, like, duh. So I'm going to put some more strips. Okay, Tracy, bring some just in case. <laughs> Probably don't need... Oh, what the heck. I can always buy more. Like that. And then I'm going to put you here. Load that bad boy up. I didn't want it falling apart. They're sticking to my fingers pretty good. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord. All right. One more. Scissors would probably have been a better option here. All right. Now we're ready to assemble. <laughs> Take the tops off these guys. Did you say the bling is part of the suite? Uh, no, this bling is from the last catalog. I do not believe it's carrying over. These were the 
mm, something fancy sequins or the uh, they're retiring they're $21 you get three colors the blue the green and a pink um, do we even have any left over here this is my stuff. I've only got the blue right now, uh, but there are three colors and it's $21, but you get a boatload of it. Okay. So now I think I've got all of them. Yeah. Now we're going to put it in place. It really doesn't take this long. I don't know why I'm being so slow tonight. 740. Good Lord. Okay. Ta-da! I'm okay. Okay. Kind of love it. Kind of love it. Okay. Let's see what else we can do now. So, oh, yes. I don't have the baker's twine yet. They have a baker's twine. They have, this is a bow. This looks really good together. Look at that combination. Okay. We need some sentiments that say maybe a happy birthday. What have we got here? Happy birthday. Uh, let's get our celebration on. I could have done that before I glued it down. That would have been fun. I think I could still do it. No. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to screw this up, you guys. I'm going to screw it up. I shouldn't do it. Somebody stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Stop me. You can't stop me. Thanks, you guys. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm going in. I'm going to stamp right on here. This is this is not a good idea. Do not try this at home. Let's get our celebration on. Bad idea. Bad idea. Great idea. <laughs> You know what I get to do? I get to use my, oh, <laughs> it worked. I get to use my new pen because I can. And look, it's, look at the bullet end. Let's see how good this bullet end looks. These are the new ones. Better be tiny enough for me to use. <gasps> did it. I did it. Okay, this just made my day. Well, that and that I got to return my bar stools and I didn't have to return two of them at my cost. <laughs> and I'm like, this was through Wayfair. Okay. Um, my, my stool incident was through Wayfair and they're amazing. They might let me keep this new unit. Although I think it's probably a couple hundred, it's gotta be two or $300 worth. <laughs> okay. You guys, I need a crayon. <sighs> I can't close it. There we go. Okay. Will you just focus Tamara? Now I'm going to use my, uh, I've got some white baker's twine. You know what I got to do here? <gasps> Wait. Wait, do I have any little skeezic things here? You know those little, <gasps> what's this? No, too big. Um, I want the little thingamadooey. There's no thingamadooey. Poo. I wanted the thingamadooey. Now what if I color a thingamadooey? Oh, look what happened here, you guys. I smushed. I got ink. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, maybe if I, I shouldn't do this. I should not do this. Step away, Tamara. Don't do this. I'm doing it anyway. I wanted the thingy, you know, that little bobbly thing. Okay. Stop it. Um, all right. I'm going to do, where's my bow maker. I am going to, I'm going to find, didn't I just have white bakers? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to do some strings. Now we do have a baker's twine, something or other coming, but, um, it wasn't in our pre-order. So all right, I'm going to try. Let's see how this works. What else have I got for ribbon? I don't think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, there goes some more nail polish. <laughs> this nail is going to rip off. <gasps> Should we do it together? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, thanks, Jennifer. What are the. <gasps> look, look. Yes. Okay, I was going to do white. Maybe I do white. There's white. Cindy Reed, hello. You guys are all having a good old chat. I look forward to reading the comments afterwards because it is, oh my gosh, it's 744. You guys, how did that happen? Okay. 
I can try. This is a new gold. That's um an online exclusive ribbon. I was like, where's this ribbon from? And then I realized it was from the online exclusive. Oh, it might be too stiff though. Okay, so I could do a bow. No, I think that's too stiff. It's really pretty stiff. So let's just stick with our what we know. Our baker's twine. So I'm cutting this at about this one. I think I'll do at eight. Okay, like I feel like this needs to be snazzed up a little bit more, but again, the social, there's lots to do with the social. There's eating, there's socializing. We don't have time for all this stamping. Okay, we're going to do a couple of bows like that. I'm doing it. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. <laughs> That's right. You be social. No, I, you guys do that. Um, and this is what's different, right, about my Check It Out Tuesday, Thursday edition versus my uh, mystery card Monday is I'm not following along. I got, I got creating to do here. You know what? We also have the gold. This one might be too stiff. Let me see how it looks with this. It might be too stiff as well. Um, this gold cord is lovely and gorgeous. And if you tie it super tight, the knot will hold and you need to um, secure it though with a glue dot really firmly. And you have to like pull this within an inch of your life to make sure it stays tight. But it doesn't flow as nice as the white. It's stiff. So, but what do you, th hmm. Yeah, it's too stiff too. I'm gonna stick with the white. Plus I have a lot of the white, so we're good for the social. Now, I don't want Donna to have a stroke because there are only two balloons. So I think I have to cut out another balloon. Maybe I do a... Little guy. What color? Should I do it in the... What is this? Misty Moonlight. I think I do. What, can it say anything in it? What else have I got for sentiments? I know it's getting late. Too bad. Um, I could do sparkly s this stuff on the balloon. Yeah, the blue. I'm thinking this one, right? The boho. Let's just cut this in half. So this is like, oh, let's just do two and three quarters so that it can run through my little guy. I also still have our old balloon punch. Is that that's not still current? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Let's not talk crazy. Okay, I want to cut these two out and see which one I like better or what the difference is, which is something you should always do when you get your dies. I'm okay. Yep, blue. Mm hmm Okay. So here's the one balloon. That's this one. What's this guy do? Put my dies away, Donna. So the difference between these balloons is what exactly? Let me see. Okay, this one is a slightly different shape and it has the little nubbin. I want the little nubbin. This one's a little bit bigger, but it kind of looks like a vase. <gasps> look, you could use it as a vase. Look, look what you could do, you guys. Look, look, are you looking? Look. Oh, <gasps> you got a vase. If I could have cut that off straight. Look, it's a vase. We could put a flap. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's going to be a vase. Okay. Now, I, um, I lost the stamp set. Here we go. All right. This is how I create my cards, you guys. It's just a whole lot of mess. And then it'll take, like, at the social, it won't take that long. I'm going to leave these these long. Um, I, this is all the playing around bits, right? Oh, am I seriously opening this again? I'm just going to... Stamp some... Well, that's stupid. Oh, well. Okay, you don't have to do that. 
We're going to pop him up on dimensionals. If I can find them. So I can. Um, I don't like that, though. I like him better naked. No, can't have it. Got to do another one. Where is... Here we go. Little nubbin. And this. I didn't... I stamped it. Nope. Do over. So I took in my taxes and my chair moved. Um, for the first time in 55 years, I have to pay. Ask me if I'm happy. I am so not happy. It ruined my whole day yesterday. I was bitchy AF yesterday because I got to pay. Not happy about it. Not happy at all. Not a little bit. Cranky, cranky, cranky. That's all. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. So this is going to go here. You're welcome, Donna. Okay. Right, because we need three of everything, right? And he gets a little thingy too. I can't leave him without a thingy. Stringy thingy. Stamp on the card sock. Then cut it. I could have done that. Cindy, too late now. Welcome to my world. CRA is not my friend. Yeah. CRA. Well, I'm just not happy about the whole thing. I'm like, I don't think I should have to pay. <laughs> I don't know how. Like I said that to Lily, I'm like, I don't know how to pay this bill. And I can't pay it yet because, of course, it hasn't actually gone through yet. She says, no, no, don't pay. They won't. Know. Okay. Oh, does that look too little? Oh, that's too many strings. Okay. I'm going to trim these a little because let's not get off. You can make these curl a little bit sometimes. Sometimes I just phrase it though, but sometimes I can make it curl. Ta-da! Look, that one's curly. Cause that's just fun. What should I do with this guy though? He need oh, he just needs, oh, I know. Wait, okay. how about a thingy, a gold thingy. So these carried over, whatever these are called. These are the pastel adhesive back sequins. They carried over. Okay, come here. Don't fight me, you'll lose. He just gets one of these. Oh, maybe we get some more. What do you think? Donna, what say you? Should I do some more? Because then that kind of ties in the gold and the gold. And, oh, there's pink too, you guys. <gasps> Look. And there's a different blue. Oh, all the things. Okay, how are we gonna go here? We're gonna go one, two. Then we're gonna go one down here. Sure, let's just stop there. Tried to file CRA, locked me out. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Donna. What do you think, you guys? I think I like it. Let's get our celebration on. Okay, so I'm gonna have to tell my people to make sure they stamp it first and then cut it out. There's a lot of room for error here though. Like what if they put the balloon too close to the side? What if they don't, oh, that angers me. It's okay. I think it's cute. We get to play with some new product. That's what it's all about, right? Tracy, do we get a thumbs up for the social? What, Pat, girls, ladies? What do you think? I think it's a fun one. I wanted to do a shaker because I've got all of these. Cheryl, what do you think? Anybody? <laughs> Yeah, I know they're on strike. That's the problem, Marcella. I know. I know. Well, there we have it. Look, 753. What else can I tell you? What else can I show you? Mm, I know. Um, last time we were talking um, about like different storage. Where did it go? I have somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Oh, here. No. Um, chicken scratch. They have... I put it I printed off here they are my labels to go on my blends I think I showed you these last time so I still have to punch these out and put them on the ends of my blends where's my do I have a half inch over here let me see I have a half inch circle punch so let me show you for example this is this didn't print very well I think my my cleaning think my things need um cleaning my heads Okay, so let's just say, 
boho blue. Let's cut these out. So I'll show you what I do. It makes life so much easier. Boho blue dark. Oh, that's pretty big. Do I not have a smaller punch? I think I do. All right. Anyway, I'll look for a smaller one. Boho blue dark. Right now they're all just in one of these. Boho blue dark. Look at me go. Grab yourself a glue dot. Put it on the back. So this is from Chick N, like an apostrophe N, Scratch. Chicken Scratch. And you can just download this for free. And then it sits in my thing so I know. Well, it's not focusing. But anyway, that's my boho blue marker. But I do need a smaller punch. Well, hi, Timothy. How are you? Um, well, I don't really know. But the half inch is too big. So do we have anything smaller? Do we have a... What's smaller than a half? A third? No. Yes. A quarter? I don't have a quarter. You know what? Where's my owl punch? My owl punch might work. Yes. I think... Yeah, this is an old retired one, so don't yell at me. I will never part with him because his eyeballs and the pieces on this owl are always exactly what I need. There we go. I think this will work. Uh, mm, no, the eyeballs are even a little big. Well, not too bad. I might make it work. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking scissors. A three eighths. Oh, do I have a three eighths inch? What? Huh. I could just use scissors. But life is a little too short for that. Where would we find a three eight inch punch? I don't know. I might have had one from that M store back in the day. I don't have a three eighths inch, do I? Here's a little flower. That work? That would work, sort of. Huh, I'll have to look around. Okay, three eighths inch. Thank you, Marlene. Thanks. How do you know that? Huh. Do you color the dot on the blend? I don't, Cheryl, because I think it'll bleed. And, um, I don't. I, I just know the general, like if you look, how can I do this? Let's switch over here. Okay, look behind me. Uh, no, I'm trying to, I can't zoom. Hmm. Anyway, you can see, like all my greens are together, so I just zero in on a green, and I'm like, if, like it's easy enough to tell, more or less. So when my blues are together, it'll be, okay, well, more blues. Yeah, this one's too big. That one's definitely, I need a three eighth inch punch. Um, yeah, I don't color them to answer your question. Oh, you bought one on Amazon. Okay, thanks, Marlene. What else can I show you at 757? Um, I've started putting my stuff together here. I showed you all my new toys. Oh, yeah, so Stampin' Up! sent me already. I got today, and they sent it like priority. So they sent me the new inserts uh, following the opening of the pecan pie. Uh, so these all came today. They gave me just the inserts. I still have the stamps. Uh, but they didn't send me a new pumpkin pie. A little sad, but whatever. Have I ever actually gone through an entire re-inker ever in the history of ever? No. <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. Um, however. Okay. What else can I tell you? Um... I bought more storage. So yeah, prices are going up, you guys, right? Like, and some of it's only like a buck. Some of it's, you know, here and there. I bought a whole bunch more blend storage and I bought a couple more things of the um, ink pad storage. I think they're going up a dollar or two. Um, excellent. Well, thank you, Trudy. Uh, you have your markers with stamp pads or separate. Um, they're together. So here, you can see here, the markers are in the storage. Something that was cute that I just saw on um, one of our one of my pages the other day. Let me see if I can get one out. Don't go away. Stay there. Hang on. So this is like our the way our storage works. I, I do like our storage for that. I don't like our storage for our brushes. I'm not going to lie. I will never lie to you. I don't like the storage for the brushes. The brushes don't stay where they're supposed to. But I do really like these trays um, for our ink pads. So the pad goes in here and the marker goes in here and they stack. And then you've got open, 
open ones up here that I put all my re anchors in. But this blew my mind because I had never seen this before. Um, check this out. When I find it, it's there's one over here. So there is room in the back for your ink spot and your finger dauber. What? Blew my mind. Blew my mind. I'm like, what the actual? Why do I not know this? Now, the only thing is, these all stack on top of each other. So whenever you want to get these out, you have to lift up all of the others. So it's brilliant, but it's not. <laughs> so to get at it is a pain in the slacker, which is Polish for butt. Um, however, I don't use these very often. So it's nice to have them here instead of in a separate bucket. So that'll save me some space in my craft cave. Um, but I just, I'm like, how did I never notice this before? <laughs> but I really do love uh, the brush storage. Oh, interesting. Donna. Yeah, you saw Charlie yesterday. Never comes in here. Never. Anyway, um, it's fun. I like the organizing, but I've got piles of stuff all over the floor. Stuff going out, stuff coming in. Ugh. Yeah, the, no, the ink pad, the, you can pull the ink pad out, but the tray doesn't slide out. They're all locked in, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice, Barbara, to be able to put the blend in there? I know it would be fabulous, but I wonder if that would it? Nope. Not quite. Almost. Not quite. However, maybe the next, the next version that they come out with. Um, okay. What else? I think that's it. It's 801. I'm going to post a copy or a picture of this on my on my page so you can ooh and ah at it but have a fun it's have a fun play Ida make a shaker card they're fun and you could pardon me you can try this other version which is fun I mean if you can use a whole envelope and just wrap it around like if it was on a card base what I'm trying to say is um hang on a bit more of them here so what you would do is you would just fill this with Okay, maybe if I should show my hands, you fill the um, fill this with your sequins and you wrap it around the layer. So if this was um, your layer here, you can just wrap it around and then the sequins are in here and it's just easier. But this one's fun. I like it. There you have it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to sign off. I keep, I've said that three times now, but this time I mean it. So <laughs> enjoy your evening. I'm going to be here tomorrow at 10 o'clock uh, mountain time for a little coffee break. Have a little cup of joe. Um, talk about some stuff and things, not much to talk about, but Hey, come meet me for a cup of coffee. And, um, other than that, I will see you Monday. Yes. I will be here Monday for mystery card Monday at seven. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed that. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.